Hello and welcome to this special interview of the Homeland Security Report. I'm David Jones. And today we're interviewing Yossi Drucker, Raphael VP and the General Manager of the Air Superiority Systems Division. Raphael has been deeply involved in rocket and missile defense. Can you tell us what the main challenge in that area of expertise is? We started with the spider system many years ago. And what we really did, we, we take the technology that is required in the air-to-air -air, uh, uh, missiles, which is a very advanced one, very capable one, and we started with putting them on a missile firing unit and creating the uh, spider system. So actually, we have a lot of experience in doing missiles that are moving very fast into in the atmosphere and, ha and having the capability of hitting target from different sizes and different uh, velocities, starting from UAVs to a very high uh, speed aircraft, maneuvering aircraft, and so on. So going from this step to the next step, which was uh, the anti-aircraft uh, system, like the uh, their defense system, like the Spider, was very easy for us. We just took the two best uh, capable missiles in the world, which we developed, the, the Python 5 and the Derby, we put them on a track and we uh, started uh, with uh, integrating them into an air defense system. The next step was obvious. We went into a, a competition between Rafael and uh, IAI. We won the competition and we uh, were declared as a prime contractor for the David Link system. So we did a very good job those days. We developed the system. We passed already a few uh, tests, a few uh, very important tests, in which we actually uh, deployed the full operation system and we uh, successfully intercepted the target that we uh, needed. We did just the same with Iron Dome, and we work actually in parallel with Iron Dome and David's Link. With Iron Dome, we did it in a very fast way. The need was very clear to everyone in Israel and the usage of the system is already historic. As you know, we already intercepted something like 1,700 rockets uh, from the time that we had the first intercepting, April uh, 2011 till now. So we have a lot of experience. When we are starting to develop a missile system, we know from day one what are the steps that are needed in order to develop such a system? The Iron Dome system has achieved a very high kill rate during Operation Protective Edge in Gaza last summer. How does such an operation help in upgrading the system? The challenge that it was uh, that, that we had during this operation, during the uh, Tsuketan and the Pillar of Defense operation, is not something that we are that it was difficult to meet. When we are doing systems like uh, Iron Dome, but just the same for uh, David Sling, what we are doing is we are, from day one, we are thinking about what will be needed in 20 years from now. So actually the operational uh, experience that was gathered through this operation improved in a very minor way the capabilities of the system. Mainly it improved the way the system is being deployed, the way the system is being operated by, by the operation and so on. But the basic system remains the same. And actually, from the first days that we uh, developed the Iron Dome system, the Tamir missile and the BMC and so on, there were zero changes in hardware. All the changes were in software, which is also something, a remarkable thing to, to, to talk about. A few weeks ago, Iran unveiled a new long-range cruise missile. Can David Sling cope with such a threat? The David system is designed from day one to cope with uh, uh, cruise missiles. It, it is very known, and uh, there is no question about the capabilities of the system. I will tell you even more than that. Even in some cases, Iron Dome can also defeat uh, cruise missile. The only difference will be, of course, that when a cruise missile is loaded with a mass destructive uh, munition, you prefer to kill it outside the border of Israel, far away. That's why you need a system like the David Sling. The David Sling is capable of doing it many, many kilometers outside the border of Israel. And uh, actually, if we can, we, we prefer 
to kill the, 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 the drone or the cruise missile on the head of our enemies. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching this special edition of the report. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, please click the link below.